Charlie Bull Metis is living his dream. I start waking up around six, and then, then the sheep hear me, <laughs> and they start buying. After 20 years of running a pest control business in Worcester, he now spends his days on a picturesque Vermont countryside on the cozy farm he built with his wife, Cindy. I said, okay, once we get retired, I want to have some farm animals. And she looked at me and said, why? I said, because I, I don't want to just retire and sit and stare at the mountains all day. I want to do stuff. That stuff includes tending to eight sheep, 26 chickens, two ducks, and oh yeah, 30,000 bees. They're docile, you can sit there. A lot of times I'll just sit and watch them. You know, I'll sit in front, watch them go back and forth and the fruits of their labor. Um, honey's nice, it's good. But Charlie didn't know if he would make it to retirement. Bouts of severe stomach pain led to scans. A small spot on his pancreas was growing larger. In general, these types of tumors will progress to cancer, and we, we know that. Dr. Jennifer Sang works at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center's Pancreatic Cancer Center, the region's leading center for pancreatic treatment. Here, each pancreatic case is reviewed before a team of specialists, oncologists, radiologists, pathologists, and gastroenterologists to recommend the best approach for each patient. In cases like Charlie's, the recommendation is to remove the tumor before it can turn into one of the most deadly diseases, pancreatic cancer. It's really devastating news for a patient, I think. First, they're afraid of, of pancreatic cancer or the other cancers that are in the area. And then the surgery is big. You know, the surgery is um, potentially life-threatening, very low, but still potentially life-threatening. It certainly has a risk of complications. In fact, that surgery, known as the Whipple, is considered one of the most complex of all procedures. Surgeons remove the head of the pancreas, the gallbladder, and the duodenum. They redirect the bile duct and remaining pancreas, and then reconnect the bile duct, pancreas, and stomach to the intestines so that patients can eat and live normally. It's something that we do here every day at BIDMC. We do it extremely well. Sometimes we do it with minimally invasive means, but most importantly, we treat every patient individually and we do the best operation for that patient. Charlie's operation would last 10 hours. After seven days in the hospital, he was sent home to begin recovery. It was a very extensive surgery, very invasive procedure. The nursing staff on the floor was phenomenal. They were there for everything that they needed. One year later, Charlie's scans confirm he is cured. The tumor is now gone, and with it, the threat of pancreatic cancer. That's one of the most aggressive cancers that you can get. So to survive, the survival rate is, you know, very small. And to be one of those people, I consider myself very fortunate. He would offer his thanks to Dr. Sang in the best way he knew how. He would name his newest baby lamb after her. We said, well, if it's a girl, we'll call it Jenny, and if it's a boy, we'll call it JT. When the baby lamb was born, he sent me a picture. It was adorable. I think it was seven pounds, four ounces. I felt like an aunt or a godmother or something. And to the staff at Beth Israel Deaconess, Charlie has a heartfelt message. You know, it was similar to a rebirth, you know, your second chance. You saved my life, you extended my life. I'm very grateful. <laughs>